Hi, you guys. Hi, everybody. If you see my video from yesterday, you will know that um, there has been a lot of stuff going in the world of Liberians and social media. So yesterday, there was a report. There's cars. I'm not sure if y'all hear me, but um, yesterday, it was reported, widely reported by Henry Costa that on a Brussels airline plane had to return back to Sierra Leone because Liberia International Airport had no electricity. So they had to wait 30 minutes in the air before returning back to Sierra Leone. That's Henry Costa report. And also he has said that the person who sent him the video was also on the flight. And in the video, you can see that um, <clears throat> In the video, you can see that the person was exactly on the flight. And you can hear the pilot saying that um, they had to, um, Liberia um, doesn't have, um, were having problem, the electricity problem, and they had to turn back. But with that being said, I reported yesterday on my blog, as always, um, as much as, I love to be positive. Um, a lot of Liberians are not like that. Um, even though we do have other Liberians that are positive, except for me. Um, so I just wanted to um, give you guys update about what's going on and, you know, making my duty to also give you guys um legit information from the actual sources and not just opinions and anger and embarrassment with quotes um so so i posted and said a brussels airline flight to liberia had to wait for 30 minutes before detouring back to freetown due to our airport not having electricity According to Henry Costa, the video was sent to him by one of the passengers on board. And I said, this isn't good. This isn't good. Whatever the setback is, we will come back from it. Let's do better. Let's fix this issue as soon as possible. That was my reaction. And that's what I posted on my blog on Facebook. And today... The video has been circulating all over the internet. You know how our people are. Oh, this is so embarrassing. You know, with this, with that, I understand that the anger, but you know our people. With that being said, um, I did a research this morning when my business partner and I was just catching up, and. According to um, their release that they, their update that they released, the airport authority is called the Civil Aviation Authority, LCCA, on Facebook. They said, as I read, the Liberia Civil Aviation Authority is concerned about the unfortunate situation that occurred at the Robert International Airport on the night of April 27, 2022, involving an aircraft allegedly routing, rerouting due to the challenge of electricity as being circulated on social media. We are grateful that the plane safely landed at RI on the same night. According to the people, the the civil the LCAA, that the plane that Henry Costa said it returned to Sierra Leone, had to return to Sierra Leone. The people said we we are grateful that the plane safely landed at the RI on the same night. Our technical team is currently in contact with the Liberia Airport Authority to discuss the incident and possible, possibly 
preventive measures moving forward. As a regulatory body, we can assure the public of our sincere commitment to conducting through investigation into the situation in accordance with the International Civil Aviation Organization standard. And this is what I said in the end on the post. And I said, no matter what, situation it was in regardless of who's lying or not thank god no one lost their life and everything worked out fine as much as the issue made others mad and disappointed it also made us some of us to stand up to still defend mama liberia remember our beloved country is still recovering that's what I bring for Quito for Gail. Libra is still recovering. And you expect Libra to be operating like a developed country. It doesn't happen overnight. <sighs> Remember, our beloved country is still recovering from major setback, which is okay. Therefore, please be kind and continue to love her unconditionally. As citizens, let's love to share more positive news in, instead of running with the negative. Yes, this too shall pass. This was my status yesterday with the caption, this too shall pass. And people, like some people got really mad at me. I don't really care about people. I bring for in their frustration and some of them opinion they expect why they're being negative they expect everybody else to be as negative as they are I, that's not a part of me i know we all love liberia but some of you you show your love in different ways for me i show my love with love and compassion and patience with liberia and understanding knowing very well that Liberia have been through a lot and we have lost a lot and we're still recovering and these things about electricity happens to underdeveloped countries. The sooner we realize that Liberia is still recovering and it's okay and for us as citizens around the world and in Liberia for us to join here and contribute to that country to grow we will forever sit down on social media and continue to make noise. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. And please continue to like and comment my blog, I mean my YouTube channel, subscribe. I'm going to Liberia in, um, in one and a half months soon. And I'm going to create a lot of content for you all. And I'm really, really excited. And don't forget, comment below and tell me what you would like to see when I arrive in Liberia. And I'm very, very much excited. Thank you guys so much. And I love you all. Bye-bye. Anyway, let me, let me walk away. <laughs>